Well, ladies and gents, it's now Thursday. Actually, near lunchtime, and uh, I'm actually in the hay barn, what we call the hay barn. Um, as you can tell, the weather forecast was spot on, because of course it's bone dry. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, I'm uh, in here just having a bit of a tidy up. Um, we're getting quite far back into all these bales now. Uh, I think we had about 2,000, 2,200 bales made. She was to ring a bell for the estate uh, for our livery yard. So basically the stack was kind of from there all the way back and kind of from the end of those pallets all the way down there with this trailer in the middle bit. So yeah, a fair few gone out. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to have like a clean face down here. Um, should be able to see there's a, a bit of a difference so hopefully all that will go this next couple of months and we'll have something like a flat wall to start building next year's crop and then what'll happen is there's actually a pair of doors here that we can come out of so I think they might even be I can't tell if they're this year's or the last year's like 2022's but anyway um, I'm having a bit of a tidy up uh, all this is kind of scrap on both sides. Um, some of it's hay, but there's a lot of straw in here because thanks to Matt and the guys down at uh, Four Winds Farm, or Four Winds Farms, uh, we've actually put straw on the top of these bales because every year we used to struggle with dust coming off them, like the top layer. But this straw has really helped, really, really helped um, keep all the dust off them because uh, the horses don't like it, it's dusty. So basically, as we're going through, pull out the pallets, pull all the loose stuff out onto the floor, and then work our way back in. Um, and as we've got to the doorway, it's built up quite a bit. So I just fought to the rubbish stuff out, a lot of dry stuff. And then I'm just sitting on doing a bit of out here as well, just to tidy it up. So that uh, when we do finally get a spring, and out there dries up, so I can just drive the tractor in. I'll pull the trailer out, drive the tractor in with a grab on it and just grab all these piles and be done with it. Well, ladies and gents, welcome to Friday morning. We're now on 22nd of March and uh, I'm back down here on this uh, drainage bit. I didn't really get very far yesterday or the day before because it hauled it down. I was just starting to puddle everything up a bit, so I, uh, I gave up. And, uh, well, we're not doing too bad anyway. It hasn't flooded the trench out, which is nice. It, it is definitely damp in there, you can see it. Um, but yeah, we've dug the end of this one. That trap needs to go in kind of somewhere where it is, maybe a bit further back. So I need to dig that bit out, plumb that in, <coughs> and then uh, water pipe it up. So, so far I've got the water pipe to here, and I'm just looking at what we need to do, so. Basically we've got a 25 mil uh, feed line, which is 25 mil all the way down there and then right down to the pods down there where it's taps into the main lot that disappears up to the well. Um, but what we're doing for a branch line is 22 mil. So we need a reducer, which is what's in this little bag. Literally just takes down 25 to 22. Um, and that slots into there. And push the pipe in <clears throat> so I just need to work out the angle the dangle kind of like that fit that in and then my 22 goes up around the back of the drain and up the centre up there with a tap on the end of it so just like those ones down there well that's the plan anyway so I'm going to find my uh, pipe cutters and uh start cutting I suppose. Uh, it is actually supposed to be quite a nice day but it's a bit breezy and on the cool side but I uh, just want to get it done. We've got caravanners coming in I think this weekend. We'll probably be over there to be fair but <clears throat> yeah could do this done and dusted. Right so then the 25 mil pipe join down there. Run the pipe out and uh, well we seem to be a bit short. So either we've got a way over long trench or I'm going to have to find an extension piece. Yeah, we'll see. Um, what I didn't mention either was with these pipes, we put the inserts into them on the joins. 
because these are basically tightening joints. Well, morning, ladies and gents. Welcome to Wednesday morning, and I'm in a field with horses. <laughs> Right, so we decided, well I've decided, I'm going to put the roller on and try and get some of this rolled out. Um, you can probably tell the difference between what I've done and what I haven't done. Now, I don't really want to show you it roller because it's uh, in a bit of a mess, but I'll explain that in a minute. So forecast is for more rain this afternoon and rain tomorrow and then probably more showers through the week and then no hope of it drying out. So I've come in just to try and level off Hopefully you'll see better down there, but try and level off some of these uh, lumps and bumps that are in this field. Uh, basically, when the hooves go in, they end up cutting like a, a bit of turf up, especially when they're cantering. And at this time of year, it can stick, you know, an inch and a half, two inches up. So where the hooves gone in, it can make like a little well of water, or fall water. Rains, fills that up, and then just sits there. So when the horse goes back over it again, it just kind of starts chewing it up it kind of ends up being like a, a dough just kind of keep kneading it type thing so pushing it down should hopefully stop that if it does rain a lot as well hopefully we'll have a bit of runoff rather than it sitting on top um, and also it should stop the grass from dying as well so when it's been cut and sat up high and proud um, when it comes warmer and drier and the wind comes it can kill off the roots. So doing this is kind of doing a couple of jobs. Uh, say not ideal by any means. You'll probably see over there it's a lot darker anyway. And the roller is in a bit of a state. Look at the state of that. But most of that, to be fair, is from that end over there where the horses turned out. And they just basically just keep running up and down the fence line to chewing it. Let's get into the field. I've only got one gate at the moment, which was sopping wet so the roller got wet went straight into a mucky bit and then stuck so they say generally it's not doing too bad a job it is leaving like bits of lumps not really cutting in with tyres either I am in four wheel drive just to try and keep her rolling um, but yeah definitely not ideal right well I've packed in uh, basically there's too much stuff coming off the roller in the end you can see the difference is made but this is where it, it was just picking up on the roll and down that end as well same thing just stuck but to be fair a little bit wasn't doing too much either I can stay in my boots it's one through gate but yeah it's pushed that down a little bit anyway there's a bit of wind as well hopefully it might just dry everything out a bit all right welcome to thursday um you wouldn't have thought it now, but there's actually a bit of blue sky out there. But it was absolutely chucking it down last night, so the grounds that wet, the uh, boss man's cancelled. Some caravan has turned up, which is not good, because, well, I think everybody's in the same position that we could do with money from them. But anyway, um, I've got this in today, so this is purchase number three. So, one. Where's the other one? Oh, one. Two and three. I got this rather cheap, cheap enough that if I had to scrap it, and the gearbox was the only thing I could save, then uh, well, I'd still probably be in profit. So it is a bit tender in parts. That's nothing to do with it. That's off my old topper, off the old flail. Uh, so there was a big hole in here. So I've just welded a plate on top of it. Well, it's not too bad welding. I've done worse. Um, it's probably not going to last forever, but if it gives a couple of years service, that'll do me. Because the rest of it's getting a bit crispy as well. And down there, but that bit's kind of more structural because it's got the chain onto it. It is a side shift, but to transport it down the road, I've stuck it behind the tractor. So um, should be useful, especially out here, because I don't have to use the flail mower as much, especially on the uh, bigger fields. And as rough as our fields are. It uh, doesn't do a roll much good on a flail mower. Uh, the only thing I have got to do as well is 
sort this out. Oop, which is the skid, which you can't see particularly well because of the light, but basically I welded a couple of uh, steels across. Uh, I was using this for the family road, I topped his fields with it because he didn't have a tractor. I didn't want to bring his tractor 20 miles from his other farm. Um, and then unfortunately he said, do you want to buy it? And I was like, no. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we got it anyway. So there's a skid to make up and I need to weld that back in as well because it's bowed out. So uh, yeah, there's a bit of work to do. Big belt driven thing. Big belts under there that drive it. Two sets of uh, arms, mow rounds. So um, works really well actually, to be fair to it. Um, it's just the body work lets it down. And if I haven't said it's a teagle as well, so an eight foot teagle. And say PTO shaft didn't see bad, the cover's done for, but shaft actually works. So yeah, that's uh, that's today's stuff while uh, we're letting the land dry out because it's bloody wet out there. Well, morning, ladies and gents, welcome to Friday morning. It is now Good Friday as well, so I'm at work <laughs> and they're. Uh, there's the sun out, but I'm just looking at rain gauge. We had nine mil last night, so we've had nine mil last night, six mil the night before, and six ni uh, five mil the night before that. So, yeah, twenty mils kind of thing is a lot for three days. <coughs> anyway, so I've done a bit more work on this. Rode that plate on, rode that on. Not the best welding, but it'll do. And then started rebuilding this. Uh, skid down here and well I kind of got fed up down here everything was slightly bent because this piece has poured out and uh, well I misjudged where <laughs> it still needed to end so I've ended up just welding the damn thing on so yeah but it's solid enough now so that'll do they say by the time this thing's done a couple of years that's set to the height it was which is a, a nice height uh, but after a couple of years, I think this is going to be done because the amount of, uh, well, ventilation it's got around it is not great. I'll just rip out the gearbox and anything that's worth salvaging. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And uh, try and flog them off and scrap the rest of it, but it'd be right. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to Saturday morning. Another workshop video, hopefully. All right, so the trailer's outside the workshop. Just got a couple of little jobs to do. Starting with Ooh. welding it up back together. So I'll just ground it off and bend it up. But yeah, we'll get weld on that, weld that bit up first. And then we'll go on with something else. So I've disconnected it from the tractor as well. So just so I don't get a, an arc through from the welder into the battery, it's something stupid. Granted there's no electrics really on that thing, but Better safe than sorry, and uh, if you'll see that, bouncing away, bounce trailer. All right, so I've just got started. Them don't look too bad. I just need to, I was trying not to do too much in one go, but I started doing it and it kind of popped the steel a bit, but it'd be all right. I've just got some more weld, weld, weld yeah. just got some more welding rods, and we'll uh, just fill that gap in there. Then I'll be able to do that as well, bring a little magnetic tray out to put tabs on. Just stop some uh, dropping off the floor and end up in a tyre. But, right, we get another rod in and we'll uh, bang that through. Right, well that's just coming a bit of steel out for us. Um, I'm just hacking it out at the moment just so I can get some spare. Um, I'm just doing kind of patching or finding patches. So, there's a bit down here that's kind of bit... Well, it's not great, so I'll cut that out. We'll get a patch, probably the piece, or one of those pieces that's being cut on there, into there. Um, but because it's a drop side trailer, what I can do is take the side down, which is quite handy. But uh, it's not been down for a while. Oh, not been down for a while, so do it right handed rather than cack handed. Just want a bit of. Uh, Bit of love. Oh, oh I can't do it one handed. Yes, I can. 
Yeah. In fact, there's one of these that have cracked off somewhere as well. Might as well find that while I'm here. And it's that one there. So I'm not sure I'm going to weld that badger up, but too far, it's got four on already, so I don't mind missing that from it. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get grinder onto that and just chunk a bit out of there. Right, so I started chopping that bit out, trying to get it off of that, but not going too well. I'm not even sure how I'm going to cut around there out with a grinder, but I have to say, I don't even have a piece of... Uh, well, channel at the moment either. I might have to do some robbing off another trailer that I've got. <laughs> Sacrificial. That bit's out, so not particularly a square, it's annoying me, but um, I'll, uh, I'll get that mounted up on the saw and get it chopped out. And uh, we shouldn't be too bad then, hopefully. But uh, yeah, just slow going. You never realise how long it takes, but I need to try and do some of these as well. Because uh, that's no good to man the beast so I might have them off and uh, either try and make something new or see if I can get some new ones or I don't know yet we'll see but uh, yeah I need to get these out first I still don't think they're original I keep looking at them thinking are they original they're not welding's quite nice on them but I don't understand how the flooring used to be on this because it was a wooden floor on it so you'd end up having to chop bits out of the wooden floor underneath for that or you'd go around it, which I can't believe you'd do, because the boards usually run front to back with these things. So, I don't know. I don't know. They're coming out anyway. <laughs> right, it's not getting very far, very fast. Uh, just welded that bit up, tried to weld that, and then realised it was a bit thin. And just stuck my uh, pecking hammer straight through there, 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 and stopped up here. So, I'm chug that bit out now as well and get it welded in. That's... One little patch there done, which I don't think looks too bad. That one's done. It's solid anyway, for a minute. And uh, yeah, we'll just sit on with this. I'm just having problems because I've got one electric lead that does everything. So I've got to unplug it for the welder. And then if I want to use everything else for the extension lead, I've got to put that plug back in. <laughs> so a bit of faffing around. And my grinder's just stopped working as well. Yeah, I think I might have just uh, ruined that one as well. Alright, well that didn't quite go as planned. You can see I did uh, my first patch, and then it ran a bit, and then found a bit more. And then tried welding that end bit, and it ran a bit more. And then welded that bit, and it ran a bit more, so... <sighs> yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I am going to put ground on it though, and flatten it out. So you won't be able to see any of it, any of it but... Yeah, not doing too bad. Right, so the trailer's back in the field. And I managed to get this cross member out <coughs> from down here. But there is still some work to do. Oh, forget in. So I've had a grinder in there. I need to grind that a bit further back and then oh, upside down. I've got this one as well to sort out. It's the other end. But there wasn't uh, much left of that. To be fair, but yeah, not too bad. Got the patch from earlier. It's not the best, but it'll do. So, and two other patches down here. So, what did that back on again? Should have ground that off, but no, and that one. So, yeah, not too bad. Oh, what a lovely day it is now. So, right, I'm packed up, ready to go home. So, thank you very much. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.